folks. So point four on Sunday dealt with something that every one of us um, basically have to wrestle with every day of our lives, really, in some degree. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, on forgiveness. And, and the point was generously forgive those who have wronged you and practice that kind of generosity in releasing people. Mm -hmm. So that one we're going to spend some time on today because it's, it's, it's got a lot of teeth, eh? Yeah. I mean, this is rubber meets the road kind of mm -hmm. point here. Big so yeah. they're going to use the same format that we've been using this week, and they're going to fire a few questions at me. And yeah, Forgiveness is a biggie because uh, Jesus was talking to his uh, people, his disciples, and he said... Uh, if you don't forgive others, then my Father in Heaven won't forgive you. Like, it's a big deal to it's forgive a big people. big deal, yeah. And so uh, Angela and I both came up sort of with the same question separately. And that question uh, for you today, Nelson, was this on forgiveness. How do you know when you've generously forgiven somebody? Because say you, you go through the motions, you know, you, mm -hmm. you, you even feel it in your heart, like I'm releasing that person from whatever they did to me. Mm -hmm. And maybe you even confess that to them. And I, for, yeah. I forgive you. Uh, let's move forward. But then as time goes by, you see that person again, or you're reminded of that situation where they harmed you or hurt you. Uh, and, and all those feelings come flooding back of, oh, man, I just... I don't want to forgive, or well, they, they, you know, they, you know what, what I'm getting at with this. You're reliving it's, it. You're really, yeah. yeah, thank you. You're, you're reliving, reliving it. the hurt and all of it. So does that mean that you haven't generously forgiven them in the first place then, since it's still kind of just floating around there? Or is it a situation where it's, man, I have to forgive them again, even though I already did? Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, let's break it down a little bit, uh, what forgiveness is. So forgiveness is actually uh, the way that the Lord presents this is first a legal transaction. So what that means is that there's a court involved. And that's God's court, number yeah. one, right? Yeah. So Jesus forgave us in a legal way. Right. The courts of heaven have, had, have been satisfied punishment was exacted. The, it, was the, uh, it was carried out upon Christ. So um, that basically means that uh, we can be forgiven because our sins have been paid for. Mm -hmm. So forgiveness is not the idea of forgiving somebody um, in uh, just an emotional way. Emotions um, are always going to be a part of a different thing, but emotions aren't so much about forgiveness. They're about healing. Okay. So we have to take and separate off those two things and think about forgiveness differently. Um, when you forgive somebody, you have given yourself what's really necessary to heal. You can't heal without letting go of the legal transaction, holding them accountable for that right. and responsible. And then they are going to be punished by you. Mm -hmm. So it's really removing them from the punishment cycle that you feel you need to give them um, or extract upon them. Hmm. So forgiveness first has to be looked at in that context. Then healing is different. Okay. So healing is going to be, you know, you have those comes back, man, I, I remember every time I see this person, I remember what they yeah, did, yeah. and I still have these feelings. These yeah. hurts still come in. Well, God talks about forgetting. He talks about that he forgets our sins. But does that mean that God really can't remember? There's a difference between forgetting and memory, even. Oh, wow. Think about that. Yeah. Take those two terms. So there are memories that I have, but I can forget certain things that I'm choosing not to receive anymore from that memory. Wow. I can work against that. And that is the power of understanding the difference between those two things. Huh. You're always going to have a memory of what somebody did. And in that memory, if it's left unchecked for, by proper yeah. forgiveness, you are going to have uh, the emotions continue to be the trump card. But they will grow less and less as you heal. Right, okay, yeah. As long as you recognize the difference between just having a memory and emotion, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean I haven't forgiven. It does mean that you need to heal. Mm -hmm. And that just, and, and see the power of what forgiveness does. It gives you the power to heal. So a lot of people kind of get the cart before the horse, try to heal before they forgive. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. That, that makes sense. Thank you for that. Like, 
uh, so when, when all that comes flooding back, it, it simply means that you just haven't healed yet. Stay in the healing process by practicing your forgiveness and the, how you practice your forgiveness is, is you are just basically, no, you took a stand, you made a choice, and yeah. it's a choice not to bring punishment uh, to them and to turn them over to God. Yeah. In Romans, it brings it out very plain that the Lord says, don't you judge, don't you condemn these people because you just turn them over to me. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Mm. Like, yes. uh, I'll look after that side of the equation. And that's what forgiveness deals with. And until you actually do that, turn it to God. Right. Forgiveness is more actually even turning it to God, the legal matter. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've forgiven me. There is no mark against me in heaven because of Christ. Right. So I'm forgiving them mm -hmm. and I'm turning that over to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now I have the full resources of God in my healing. Mm -hmm. And now God can work on my healing. God won't work through you to bring judgment. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, That's, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. Yeah, that is actually a, a new way for me to think of that whole transaction. The forgiveness is that initial transaction that needs to take place in order to allow that healing and, and it unleashes that full resource from God to initiate that healing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the memory and forgetting. Oh, I love it. This is great. Uh, yeah, all I can think about now is thank God uh, he doesn't work through us to bring judgment to people because, man, this would be a really ugly place if I was in charge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, in fact, that's why the world is quite messed up yeah. mm. is because there is more moving on. Right. There is only caring of the grudges, Yeah. the guilt. Yeah, yeah. that's more and more now, yeah. Right? Yeah. You're carrying those forward. Yeah. And so as long as, as, long as you are going to stay in that position of being either a channel or a source of judgment for somebody else like that, yeah. because they've hurt you or wronged you, um, you're in a little bit of a mess with God. There, there, there is a great story Jesus told uh, about a guy that owed uh, a king millions of dollars basically yep you know the story mm -hmm. yep and so he brings him in and this guy asks for mercy he says i, I want mercy yeah uh i can't pay you back mm -hmm. and because uh, they were going to sell uh him into slavery they were going to sell um his family into his slavery family. i mean they were going to recover basically whatever they could of this huge debt yeah and he says oh man give me some mercy the king did yeah he walks out, and he's got a guy that owes him basically like twenty bucks. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's really, really small. Yeah, and uh, and he literally finds this guy literally immediately after leaving the king's forgiveness chamber, yeah. <laughs> and he grabs this guy by the throat and he has him thrown in prison. Right. Uh, the king hears about it, gets back to him, and the, and the king deals with him because he, this man put himself in a place of judgment for that man, and he says, "No, you've received this. You must give this." Sometimes we're treating forgiveness as just a human, and, and in Christianity we have to be very careful with this. Mm. We, we can't treat this as just one of the options of our faith. Right. Yeah. And that's where scriptures like that come in. Yeah. And uh, this is not optional. Not optional. This is the practice of your faith. This is core yeah. to your receiving. Yeah. By the way, if you've really, when you've gone to God for forgiveness, been repentant, where there's been confession, strong ownership, this is my mm -hmm. stuff. That guy hadn't done that, by the way. And uh, then really repentance, I'm not going to be right. living that way or moving that way anymore. Mm -hmm. The depth of that is always tested in your heart uh, at yeah. times when you are going to have to release others. Right. Wow. And if you've been a great confessor and repenter mm -hmm. deeply, yeah. you never have to worry about it. You'll get to forgiveness of others yeah. and you will have an easy flow of grace through your life. Mm -hmm. the, the bondage to it comes when we are not good in that front end, confessing and repenting. Yeah, that makes so sense. That, that forgiveness works deeply in us. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. So Does that make sense? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. If, if a person's not, uh, yeah, not that great at uh, extending forgiveness, it simply means they haven't really received that from God and worked that in their life. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It really does make sense. Yeah, wow. I guess it made sense. It did. So I hope it did for you. Um, this is going to be one of the deep works of God in your life mm -hmm. to uh, continue to bring you into a greater generosity. Here's the signs that you'll know that you're in a greater generosity. Your peace. 
just not fighting old wars. They don't have the same bite on you anymore. Your joy, um, your spirit's not bound up with resentments, bitternesses, grudges. It's, it's something that you really are feeling free on. Yeah. And one other big thing, your love. Intimate relationships, we've got that seminar coming up, by the way. Love grows where we practice deep forgiveness. If we think it can grow in any other soil, you're wrong. And so it's really important for us to be generous in our forgiveness if we want love in our relationships. If you are, I promise you, one of the great fruits will be love. Mm. God bless. <laughs>